uh, analyze problems coming before they happen. Look at the road and look at your nearest. Now, uh, if you find 80% of the time, you will not have good map vision unless you're already very good at it. So first make sure that you fight at most 20% of the time in a game. If that means you have to be less aggressive, then maybe that's a good change for you for now. Start to practice every time before you start a fight. And this takes precedence over playing the rest of the game well. I would suggest unranked. Every time before you start a fight, do a quick check on the minimap do we want this fight? Yes or no? If it's no, don't fight. Even if yeah, the team went, so I went to. That will be a great way to teach yourself some discipline, to always check if it's safe and to have better map awareness. Question from Spooky. He says, new to the game, but not to MOBAs. Loving it. Cool. Uh, one question. Loving Sylvanas and Mind Control, but players tell me Silence is better. But Mind Control is so fun and I'm doing so well with it. Am I playing wrong with Self? So, Mind Control makes a target out of you. And in a team fight, when you Mind Control someone, you take away your DPS and theirs. The effective end result is an easily focusable target from, of the enemy team and an easily focusable target on your team you standing still channeling mind control still it may take you so far maybe you are safer than them and maybe you cast it on the right target and maybe their support doesn't cast cleanse and maybe no one interrupts you to do mind control but it's essentially not a team fight heroic if it keeps working for you, I always say, even if I don't believe in it, if it keeps working for you, keep playing it. But you're going to run against the wall. That is a fact, if you keep climbing. Wailing Arrow is a team fight winning heroic. I stand. Ready. I see mind control more. Let's say if it was used by a pro, it'd be more of a snowball of odds. Normally, you get a pick. Maybe you get some fortifications, whatever. With mind control, maybe you get another pick, that kind of thing. Maybe someone would be out of range, but thanks to mind control, they're not. The thing is, when you get a pick with self, you can already get free push value. If you're five versus four, thanks to Black Arrow, defender's advantage is gone. So you can fight under enemy fort. Five before it and have it be a neutral battleground. While you're killing the buildings, you're also doing a fight that is in your favor. And so you don't really need mind control, uh, in my opinion. But again, if it is working for you, you can get a kill that otherwise you wouldn't. Keep it up until you learn. Okay, now I'm being presented the evidence that it's really not working. But I think... Uh, if you want to manage your teammates and they say, oh my God, why did you take my control, blah, blah, blah. Just state the facts. Just say, I've got 67% win rate with it. You might be right. Maybe it's not as good. I'm not gonna say that we're gonna dominate with it, but it's been working for me. So I'm not griefing. You can say that in a shorter way. Don't make it sound like a brag because they're going to wait to watch you be disproven. If it sounds like you're bragging, people are not rooting for you. So uh, if you say like, I dominate with mind control, they're gonna be like, oh yeah? Let's see you fail. And the first time you fail, they're gonna rub it in your face. You just say, you might be right, but I do have a high win rate with it. So let's see, let's just do our best. I so hear yeah. the call of the wild. Okay, so what do I take? A Nubarak, no? Or? Or Artanis? <laughs> I 
or Arthas. For the frozen throne. Should I not bother with Hero League until I get 20 ish heroes up to 5? I, I mean, it certainly seems advisable to be as prepared as you can be in Dracons. Oh, this is my jam! That's some nice noodles. I can't describe taste though, I don't know how to express it. Captain Insane says how to be most effective with uh, Savannah. Her damage is so little in team fights. As it seems I don't find myself doing much since I like heroes like Lunar Zoe. So, Savannah's the best burst Savannah's has is the armor debuff at 16, along with Windrunner at 13, and three full charges of Q with the ring fire after doing double banshee. That is the most single target damage you can do. She's still not going to be as good as Sul'jin at getting a front line, but it's pretty damn good. Alternatively... Battle commencing in 10 seconds. Alternatively, uh, you can also... What was I talking Five, about? Oh yes, four, you can play the W three, build at 4, two, Lost Soul, one. and you just keep spamming AoE spread. I will get the ruby and armor. <laughs> you played Dota 1 before? Nope. Charlie shot me. Let's see what this Rex are builds. Also, easy prey. Ah, bird of prey. A talent. Get rid of barbs. Yeah. 
Pretty cool fights here. <laughs> double warrior versus double warrior. Oh, speed demon. Wow, they got Bala, nice. I should have loved to be there. Oh. Pretty damn close. Sick fight. <laughs> nice. Interesting split. I'll get the uh, subterranean shield. Thank you. Thank you for subbing. Wow, we got a kill bot lane. Nice. from a very difficult lane to uh, winning both which is pretty awesome now they're angry and they're gonna go get a fort so I'll get this wave and then I'll rotate and hopefully we don't lose anyone in the next 10 seconds because Rexar is top actually if I go there we will lose me I'm going back top A talent. Uh, should be cocoon here. So be it. Nice. Took you long well enough. done. Well done. Well done. Cocoon because Lucio. Lucio is great cocoon target, especially if he is about to cast amp it up for sand barrier. About to be level 10, so we don't want to be too hard. The beacons are energizing. Get the globe. Nice. <laughs> it's just too late with Cocoon. Oh my god. And we live? No. <laughs> Not even mad at that uh, Phoenix. Damn! <laughs> if my cocoon was slightly earlier. Kirby, which tryout for good stream is your favorite to watch when able? Uh, I like the Skara one, but I only checked Skara and Dyrus. The Skara talks a little more. Why change your working formula? Uh, 
need to get that free fort value again. I need to be with my team and have the Haka burrow, we if anything. Oh, we've lost a fort. We do have camp pressure top still. Nice follow up. Nice glance, damn. Sick now. All right. No, <laughs> Misha. Please, it's unbearable blocking him like that. Yeah, cool fight. And we've got the beacons as well. Of talent. At least the Zerg that are coming for us are not as the rest of the ones our enemies face. So maybe there's hope yet. Brilliantly executed. I will get Burning Rage. You know why we casted a stun there? Because it's usual move for Diablo to walk to the gate, overpower someone over the gate and then stun them into the own team. Since we meleeed the gate, that became a very likely move. Cocoon, uh, Cocoon, Lucio and Value. Is not dead either. Dead of Barbies? Uh oh. Okay. Oh, now I'm dead. The Zerg are eliminated. Huh. I went into the sciences to avoid this sort of thing. Okay, the mana from Mount saved me. Thank you, based Malfurion. One death is fine. Damn. <laughs> Wait, I missed some letters there. It somehow came out still sounding dirty. <laughs> Is it better to find all objectives or just outside of objectives on the Infernal Shrine? It depends on your team draft, but let me just say that on Infernal Shrine's top shrine, the you don't want to get engaged upon usually, so you want to be the one that enters last because it's such a death trap being inside there. Grey main well cocktail. Oh no! Wait, what did he die to? I don't know. Uh, I will get AP center, epicenter. Make the charge more likely to it. Nice. That must have hurt. Very nice. This is actually a really cool game. Great play by everyone. V 
victory. MVP. <laughs> cool game. Unusual split. Unusual split. Uh, Grubby, how do you get your team morale up when the player is being negative? Just, uh, just say it's a win-win. Either that guy loses or y'all win. So just relax. Or just say, we can still win. Something like that. Or like, uh, we're fine. Or you just give them a goal. Like, let's... Let's try to get a crazy pick. Or let's try to get the boss. Or uh, or just say something like, uh, oh, don't be negative. Sometimes people don't mean to be negative. They're negative despite themselves. Diva's trying to end. Oh, nice. Two at once. Ouch. Oh, that's ours. <laughs> 